Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Shen Salvador, where we're working on the Ideas Guy achievement run. We're about to declare on Songhai for all of his sovereign clay. Quote unquote, sovereign clay. We are in the process of annexing our vassal Jolof, so he'll be done in 30, 30 years. Yeah, it's going to take some time. It's because he's a big vassal. But it's time for Songhai to die. Goodbye, Songhai. Kick your ass. Yeah, that was a fair fight. And then just split up. He has no forts or anything, so... Not really in any rush. Just take your leisurely time and relax and siege him down. Done. France is almost done annexing Castile. Should finish in about a year. And we have a Circumnavigate the Globe Explorer, which I think will succeed. Oh yeah, he's going to succeed this time. We got a guy with two maneuver, and we added a couple extra colonies over here so that he wouldn't take too much attrition on the final leg of his journey. I think he's going to make it. You know what? I've never actually circumnavigated the globe in this game. Like, it's always been Norway or someone else who, get, who gets it before me. I wonder if it's in a, an achievement or something. It might be. All right, let's take some troops over here to Africa. Actually, do I need them in Africa? No, I don't. Where do I need my armies? Do I need my armies anywhere? I mean, I guess if we're going if we're planning on going to war in Asia, then I need them over here, but what can I even attack in Asia? I'm not sure. I can't really attack Khmer cuz he's allied to Ming. How many troops does Ming have? This is a stupid question, but how many troops does Ming have? 60,000. I guess we could fight that. I mean, it's it's very tempting to not fight that, to just say, you know what, let's let's relax. Let's take them when they're weak. But that's that's not that many troops. We could fight that. We could beat that. Oh, I'm tempted now. I am tempted now. Hmm. Well, let's start by eating Ryuku. Let's go ahead and get a claim on Ryuku. Let's let's tenderize the meat, shall we say. So, this 24 stack. Let's go here. And let's follow the last little journey of our circumnavigate the globe. Yep, no longer taking attrition. Very good. Wait, what kind of advisor is that? Missionary strength. Perfect. Alright, that's it for Song Hai. So I need a diplomat. And I guess I'll take him back from Russia. It's going to take three, three months. Alright. But yeah, we have a mission to get relations up with Russia, but that can wait, I guess. All right, let's see what happens when we circumnavigate the globe. I don't think there's an achievement for it, but just in case there is. There we go. The first circumnavigation. Nope, no achievement. Okay. Our fleet set sail to find a western sea route to the rich spice islands of Indonesia. It took them 99 days to cross the ocean westward. And after that, they had found the Straits of Magellan located near the tip of South America. The strait was treacherous. And when they finally reached the ocean, the captain wept with joy. The ocean was so strangely calm, it was named Pacific, from the Latin word for tranquil. The fleet's captain died from a wound caused by a poisoned arrow when assisting the chief of Cebu in conquering a rival tribe. Two of our ships had survived. I'm pretty sure all three are here. One tried to return across the Pacific, but perished. The last ship continued west, sailed across the Indian Ocean, rounded the Cape of Good Hope, as it arrived at our port, it became the first ship to circumnavigate the globe. Very nice. We got 100 prestige and 40 tradition. So it's not really that useful, but... All right. I thought maybe it might give me a merchant or something. Didn't give me shit. <laughs> Is there any more exploration I can do? No. You can only circumnavigate the globe once. Well, then why don't you take the button away, Paradox? I guess just protect trade in the Caribbean or something. No, protect trade in the Ivory Coast. Yeah.
Well, we did it. We did it. We did it, Reddit. Oh, France died. Shit. I was really hoping for the Union to break right before France died, but no, it didn't happen. For freedom. Merchant Guild gains loyalty. And morale of armies goes up. Okay. And our diplomat's back. Goodbye, Songhai. Get rid of your cores on my shit. And I can't force religion because he's the wrong religious group. So, done. All right. Yeah, we could have teched up early and it would have been a little cheaper to core that shit. But I think what we'll do is we'll just tech up naturally. There's no point to tech up early. Take my Miltech. Mmm, Miltech. Khmer wants an alliance, really. Oh, we get new units? Chambered Demi Cannon, nice. All right, Khmer wants an alliance. That's interesting. That is interesting. Because I was thinking of taking a province by threatening war. Like, fabricate on him, threaten war, take a province. I don't think he would accept, but it's possible. Huh. Wow, look at that. Lan Na even got Bengal Delta. Holy shit, Lan Na is strong. And he wants an alliance too. You can't get it as a custom nation. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, I don't think I want this alliance with, with Khmer. Get away. I'm considering... I'm considering going for Manchu, because he's got no allies. I think Manchu's a good bet. Let's fabricate on Manchu. I wish I didn't have to do this. Wait, I can vassalize him? Hmm. I can just peacefully vassalize him. That's interesting. No, I'll just eat him. What's your total cost to an X? 86. Um... I don't know. If I vassalize him, I could feed him a lot of land. Oh, that's tempting. That is so fucking tempting. I think I'm going to vassalize him. That is so tempting. Okay, where's my damn navy? There we are. God, we took so much attrition crossing the Pacific. Holy shit. Good thing we're almost home. Okay, now we're in home waters. Whew. Pretty brutal. Six troops, huh? Does he have a fort? No. Perfect. He's not guaranteed by anyone or anything. Give my troops one month to heal up. What's this? Lose mercantilism or lose diplo points? Well, I got diplo. We're good. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Does he have a navy? Oh, looks like Korea's fighting Japan. That's fun. Um, he's got five ships, but I don't think he's going to fight us. Oh, I don't have a diplomat. Right, never mind. I can't declare war without a diplomat. Shit, Admiral Price, thanks for resubbing, man. I have a horse on my flag? I know, I do. What's wrong with that? You don't like horses on the flag? It's the red carpet pony. You gotta love the red carpet pony. All right, let's keep these colonies going. Let's put a little bit more over here in the Philippines. Am I in Palawan? I am. Yeah, Palawan's already done. Cool. Who's this? Majapahit wants an alliance. Um, no. All these stupid nations want alliances. So dumb. I gotta remember to get my... Uh, not alliance. I gotta get my relations up with Russia. Russia who is collapsing. Noble rebels. In the capital too. Oh, Russia. 
He's not colonizing either. Why not? Oh. Because he's probably got some shit leaders. He's way behind on everything. Am I a brony? Uh, oh, there you go. France and Castile. I wish I could say I was a brony, but I'm not. So there you go. There is no more Castile, everyone. Castile is a thing of the past. Are you scared yet? You know what's the most terrifying thing about that? France does not get aggressive expansion for that. You don't get AE for annexing someone like that. So no one's going to care. No one's going to do anything about that. Isn't that disgusting? The reason he has AE is because he just took a bunch of land from Brittany. That is disgusting, France. That is disgusting. Alright, let's go eat Ryuku. Sup, douchebag? Wait, is he actually engaging me? Oh, it was just his trade ship. Trade ship. Singular. Don't worry, it's dead. Perfect. Oh wow, Kamchatka took over Sakhalain. Well, I'm going to fabricate on that. If I can get Sakhalain, I can get uh, Ainu. If I can get Ainu, I can get Japan. I might as well get Japan. I don't need Japan, but I might as well get it. Here's where I wish I had the CBs for the expansion ideas. Unfortunately, we don't get those CBs. You're supposed to get CBs on Africa and Asia. But you don't get them if you're high American tech. <laughs> it's like, why don't you get them if you're high, if you're high American tech? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Fight France and make them get make them release Castile. Yeah, I'll get right on that. All right, come on back. Uh, end of the month, come back from Manchuria. 100 days to come back from Manchuria. God damn. Diplomacy takes forever. I'm tempted to take diplomatic just for the envoy travel time. You know? Where is it? Oh, well, maybe it's influence. No? Oh, there it is. It's influence. Postal service. Envoy travel time, 25% faster. So instead of 100 days, it'd be 75 days. That's that's pretty fucking tempting. That's pretty fucking tempting. Seems like a waste of, a, of an idea slot. Considering I want trade next, seems like a waste. Rip everything that's not France. Yeah, Austria, England, Commonwealth. Russia? No, I don't know about that. Uh, who are France's rivals? That's what you look at. Who's he going to attack? Well, he's currently beating up Lorraine. He's rivaling me, Aragon, and Britain. So yeah, rip Aragon, rip Britain, but I think we'll be okay in the new world. He'll probably leave us alone. Probably. No guarantees. Alright, goodbye Ryuku. Force religion, yeah. All right, Okinawa is now the one true faith. Good, good. Uh, let's let's get up here. Finished a colony. Kaskwahar? Where's that? Oh, down there. Okay. Autocores. Alright. When's our truce up down here? Because I need to go eat him. Oh god, he's still at the Charka. Uh, 1609? Okay. 
I don't think I need. I don't think I need to fabricate on him though. I just need to make sure that I need to eat him before Britain does. That's all. All right, let's go finish this mission with Russia. Only I had a diplomat. All right, do I want to keep colonizing up here? I mean, I could. Uh, could go for Australia. Could continue along South Africa, but there's no real point. Unless I want to go border Kilwa. If I want to border Kilwa, I can get a lot more gold provinces. That's true. But it would be 75 autonomy each. Maybe it's time we close up the gap here between North and South America. Is it time? Let's do it. Let's close the gap between North and South America. That means we're going to have to core everything in South America from now on. But everything we colonize, I mean. Whereas in the past, we didn't have to. But we're okay on admin points. I might as well. And besides, we got some sick discounts already. Religious ideas for CBs? Yeah, it's true. Deus Volt is definitely a CB. That would save a lot of envoy travel time because you don't have to fabricate. It's true. Still a year ahead on tech. All right, Russia, relations, go. Okay, we got a claim on Sakhalin. And he has no allies, right? Yeah, and his tech is shit. Election, 114 or 4... Oh, God, these guys are terrible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the 114. God, they're terrible. Some shit choices there. But yeah, let's go get Saka Lane. Monetary reforms lose stability. Oh shit, someone's upset. The clergy and the merchant guilds are both upset. Okay. Ah, because the colonists arrived. So as soon as the colonists arrived, all of a sudden our autonomy, look at this. Everything just goes to zero. Do you like that? Everything that can go to zero does. We got zero autonomy. This was all at 75 because it was distant overseas. Now it's at zero. So that's going to boost our income a bit. Oh yeah, we're up above 200 ducats income now. Nice. But that also means we have to hand out some more land. So let's give out some more merchant guild stuff to the centers of trade, if I can find them. There's one. Uh-oh, we're losing graphics. We're gonna have to restart after this. Graphics are dying, everyone. Is that it? Are those the only important provinces? I guess that's it. Oh yeah, this one too. But that's still distant overseas. Uh, okay, I'll just give them some more of the Caribbean, I guess. Give them the coast. Or give them the... Um, yeah, just give them the coast. Fuck it. Okay. And the clergy, I don't really care what, what goes to the clergy. Um, as long as it's not a gold province, I don't really care. Oh, is this a merchant province up here? Isn't there an estuary here? Yeah, right there, merchant province. Okay, good. Silly graphics. Why they got to go away? And how's our inflation? 6.3. You know what? I think I'm going to take the inflation, actually. I don't want to take a stab hit. I'm going to take the inflation. And it's election time. All right. Good enough. 
random graphics shit, no problem. More random graphics. <laughs> it's so messed up. Where's our fleet? Are we here yet? Where's our fleet? Okay, we're on the way. I want to get this war going. Although, perhaps I should get Manchu vassalized first. Hmm. Can I marry him? I cannot marry him. Oh no, I can. Wait, why does it say distance between borders? Negative 162. We have a direct border right here. See this border? There you go. See that border? Yeah. So why does it say distance between borders? Negative 160. That doesn't make any sense. Wait, what? <laughs> we get we get a plus five. Plus five for neighbors. We are neighbors. And then we get a negative 162 for distance between borders. What the fuck? That is so bad. We're neighbors, but there's some type of distance between our borders. Whatever, just let, let's get the relationship going. I don't even want to. I don't even want to understand that. That's so silly. All right, are we gonna go for tech again? I guess we do go for tech again because we're about to do three techs. Yeah, five percent cheaper tech sounds good. Yeah, Twitch chat saying that modifier is between borders. It is between capitals, not between borders. Well, then what it should say is distance between capitals. It doesn't say distance between capitals. Hey, we found some gold in Salinas. Nice. Gold. Yeah, if what it means is distance between, between capitals, then it should say distance between capitals. Hey, Russia Western eyes. Good for you, Russia. Country without a king. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, wait, what? The recent increase in support for the Orangist faction has sparked a discussion. We don't have... No. We have the status in power at negative 100. There's no increase in the Orangist power. What? Just lose some prestige, I guess. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, go to war. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? All right. Next month we can tech up. Let's kill these guys. Japan will cede Bungo, Satsuma, and Jeju to Korea. Oh, Yamana. Hi, Yamana. I really want to go eat these guys. <laughs> Just want to go nom nom. Anyway, let's go ahead and tech up. Oh, so good. We can build university. You know what the university does? It makes it 20% cheaper to improve your development. Oh, it doesn't let me click on the... Okay, can I use this interface? There we go. Yeah, and I'm going to do it in the provinces that are farmlands. And we can see the farmlands right here. Farmlands. Farmlands. And farmlands. And there's only a few farmlands in the entire continent here. There's a couple more right here. Cahokia and Kaskaskia. And that's it. There's only those farmlands. That's it. Like even here, this is not farmlands. It's the same color, but it's actually grasslands, which is not as cheap as farmlands. But we should probably go ahead and put universities there anyway, because it's cheaper than anywhere else. Grasslands are as close to farmlands as you're going to get. And that's it, isn't it? Oh, there's some grasslands here. Perfect. More grasslands. And what is this? Jungle. Savannah. Not quite as good, huh? Hills. Coastline. Okay, definitely not as good. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Keep some money in the bank. All right, Manchu, how do we get you in our pocket? 
He wants to be a vassal, but we got to get relations up. We got to give him some access. We got to do all these things. And each time we send them a diplomat, it takes a hundred days to come home. That's that's so annoying. It's gonna be a while before we get him as a vassal. Okay, we're about to lose our ships, but this fort will siege down. Well, not fort. This province will siege down, and then we'll stop taking attrition here. There we go. I think I'm just going to full annex this guy. I don't need this land, but we have, we have the admin points, and we just got... We just got our first administrative efficiency, although you can't... You can't see it here. It's one of the graphics here. We just got our first... It's this one. We just got our first administrative efficiency, which makes it 20% uh, cheaper to core this shit, and it's already distant overseas, which is you know even more cheap. We have a lot of benefits right now for coring, so we might as well just full annex them, get it over with. No, Cuba does not have farmlands. Cuba has Savannah. Savannah is 15% increased development cost, and it also has jungle, which is 35 increased development cost. And that's all that's here is Savannah and jungle. There you go. See, it's got three that are Savannah and three jungle. The colors that are the easiest to develop are this green color, this light green, lime green. That includes grasslands and farmlands. I don't know why they're the same color. They shouldn't be. And then this dark green is what? Woods? Yeah, woods, which is like 10% increased development or 15%. And then hills, which is 25%. Mountains, which is 50% increased coring cost. Savannah is this orange color, which is 15% increased coring cost. And this is jungle. Marsh. What's the marsh cost? 25% increase. So... Yeah, the only stuff that's good for development is this light green. So we're going to be colonizing the light green stuff, and we're going to be developing the light green stuff. We're not going to develop anywhere else, probably. Unless it's gold. The gold will develop for sure. Anyway, that's going to have to do it for now. So why don't you come back next time for the annexation of Kamchatka, and hopefully we can get Manchu as a vassal. I think we can. Just going to give him some, give him some ducats. Yeah, he'll come to the, he'll come to the dark side. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.